DNA replication. How does the DNA molecule replicate itself? DNA replication is the ability of a DNA molecule to make an exact copy of itself at interface stage of cell division. So, DNA replication is the basis of passing on genetic information from one generation to the next generation. To make an exact copy of itself, DNA molecules are surrounded by free swap of nucleotides. We know that these free swaps of nucleotides are the building blocks with which the newly synthesized DNA molecule gets synthesized. In 1953, Watson and Crick discovered the structure of DNA. They proposed that DNA must replicate semi-conservatively. DNA replication process There are enzymes and proteins that have their own responsibility or function in DNA replication process. DNA replication process has three main phases. Initiation phase, elongation phase, and termination phase. Let us look at the process step by step. At initiation phase, topisomerase unwind part of the helix of the DNA molecule and DNA helices break hydrogen bonds to reveal two single-stranded regions. DNA helices begins at the origin of replication fork to bring about the procedure of strand separation which leads to the formation of the replication fork. So then, this DNA helicase breaks hydrogen bond between the base pairs to separate strand by using energy obtained from ATP. In turn, single-stranded DNA binding protein also bind to the single-stranded DNA to stop the strands from binding again. Once the strands are separated and ready, replication can be initiated. For this reason, a primer is required to be bind at the origin of replication. For this process, primers synthesize the RNA primers that can be attached on lagging strand. At elongation phase, DNA polymerase assembles a new strand of DNA alongside each of the template strands. This enzyme makes the new strand by reading the nucleotides on the template strand and specifically adding one nucleotide from three swaps of DNA nucleotides after the other based on base pairing rules. The base sequence in each of these new strands is complementary to its template strand because of the base pairing rule. We can remember that adenine always pair with thymine and cytosine always pair with guanine. This enzyme can only synthesize new strands in the direction of 5' prime to 3' prime from the template of 3' prime to 5'. Prime. It also involves in proofreading and repairing processes if there is certain mistake of binding nucleotide. It works on both the leading strand and lagging strand. Leading strand means the strand which is synthesized in the same direction as the replication fork, whereas lagging strand is the strand being synthesized in the opposite direction of the replication fork. During the termination phase, DNA polymerase 1 remove primer at the end of replication process since primer is needed to be removed. It takes the help of ribonuclease H enzyme to remove the primer and fill in the gaps. Another enzyme, DNA ligase, fills the gaps between Okazaki fragments at the lagging strand. This enzyme also closes nicks in double-stranded DNA molecule if there is certain gaps. And this results, lastly, at the end of replication process, 
we acquire two DNA molecules that are identical to each other and to the original parental DNA molecule. Each daughter DNA contains one strand from original DNA molecule and one newly synthesized strand that is complementary to the template strand. This forms of DNA replication is semi-conservative forms of DNA replication. Semi-conservative forms of DNA replication means a condition when each of the two daughter molecule has one DNA strand of the parental DNA. You can see from the diagram that the two daughter DNA acquire or receive the blue strand that comes from the parental DNA strand. This is parental strand that comes from parental DNA and this one is the newly synthesized strand.